Yeah, I, I think a lot of people see crying as a negative thing. I kind of see it as letting your soul just breathe. <laughs> You're letting it out. This, this is a little bit sad and it's a little bit personal. So uh, a few months ago, my grandma died. And the last thing I ever said to her was, I hate you because she stole money from my parents. And I've just like, I've not been myself for the past few months. Because I attempted suicide, so yeah, <laughs> it was a lot. None of his parents showed up for his birth. That's my story. They just adapted it from me. Um, it was one of the most emotional points in my life, and I'm crying just thinking about it. Oh, I have to go. I'm so sorry. I don't. I don't cry at anything besides death. My stepfather uh, would yell at me if I cried as a child. So, prison. Your whole life is on pause, and you can't do shit about it. Have you ever felt the emotion getting your freedom taken away? Somebody that I cherish more than life itself, completely ripping out my heart, destroying it, and throwing it away like nothing. So when I was about 15, my family life was, you know, not so great. I'm trying to think of exactly how this all played out, because it was a while ago. And so I kind of just blocked the memories out. But <laughs> when I was 15, um, you know, my parents, their marriage has never been super great. And my dad has a lot of mental disorders. And so, you know, he's never really been present for me and my brothers growing up. And at one point, I remember hearing that um, my brother, my older brother, who had kind of always taken on the role of being the dad of the kids since, you know, my dad Dad wasn't there for us. Um, at one point, it got out that he had told somebody that he was going to kill himself and that he had, you know, a plan to do so. And I just remember, and I remember hearing about it, and I, I broke down crying because I just couldn't, you know, imagine life without him. And even though, you know, he and I didn't have a super great relationship, I just, he had always filled that role for all of us, you know, since my dad couldn't. My dad was you know an alcoholic and well <laughs> i'm a very sensitive emotional type of person so honestly i cry a lot <laughs> and it, it's not always sad and more often so it's because i'm happy so i guess uh the most recent time i cried was i was drinking and i kind of it just kind of hit me that i was happy and and i i was I felt really accepted in my friend group, and I I, I was overwhelmed by the happiness, <laughs> so I cried. <laughs> I remember staying up most nights thinking about my wife and uh, having sex with the other men. It's been forever since I've actually cried. Probably when I was like six and my mom slapped me. Yeah, I see him every other weekend, kind of, but I, I don't really. Ever since I like got my license, I... I spend less and less time there because I have the choice to drive home whenever I want now. I, I really- I don't think my father loves me. He's just never taken the time to build a real emotional connection with me. Whenever he come, I come over, he just has me work and uh, help clean his house. And he's, he's always put a lot more effort into getting to know my sister rather than me. Um, I was not doing so well either. Um, I actually ended up being hospitalized like a week later. <laughs> and um, my mom was- falling apart because my dad had been cheating on her for six years and it was a lot um, <laughs> because i attempted suicide so yeah <laughs> it was a lot but yeah i guess it would be you know for him it was the stress of having to support my mom and you know nobody had a good relationship with my dad and he also just has some um mental disorder so it was you know just a lot of pressure on everybody at the time oh yeah i've definitely uh struggled a lot with sadness in my life you know depression you know everything like that and i still struggle with it sometimes like I, I have my moments and i have periods of time where i'll fall back into that like negative headspace but at the end of the day i like to choose uh optimism over over everything you know it's a tough thing to give advice for because everyone's so individualized and uh, everyone's struggles are so different. But I think that you just have to do it. You have, have to tell yourself, I'm going to be happy now. You have to choose to get that help. You have to choose to reach out to other people. And you have to find that support system, whether that be outward or within yourself. But you guys can do it. <laughs> you can do it and you can be happy. <laughs> yeah, that's my only sister. I have three step siblings. They're not uh, step siblings of my stepfather. He has multiple sclerosis and has never had children, but uh, my stepmother is married to my father. The only time my father has seen me cry uh, 
Besides, like, a couple of... I get uh, ear-splitting migraines, like, to the point where I can't stand anymore. Uh, besides those, and that was back when he drank a, a lot, and he would just send me and lock me in upstairs, but it's all good now. My stepfather has multiple sclerosis, and it it, it has a lot, it puts a lot of um, mental, his, his mental state has been deteriorating for years, and just, he's become aggressive, and taking it out on me and my sister. It was my fiance's birthday and I decided to set up a surprise party for him. And I just remember, you know, I think he kind of thought that, you know, I wasn't really helping him celebrate a whole lot and he was okay with it, but you know, it was just like a mediocre birthday, I guess. And then the day after that was when the surprise party was. I took him to a park and I had all of his friends over, you know, wait at the park for him before we got there. And uh, just the moment he realized, um, you know, that they were all there waiting, like just his face, like he suddenly was so happy. And I think he, he teared up a little bit because he was just so touched that, you know, everybody did that for him. And it just, you know, it made me so happy to see him that happy. And yeah, so I, I cried a little bit. <laughs> Everywhere around the world is threatening, like threatening our like my life. Like they're like saying these like pandemics and life sucks. Well, let's see. Currently in the current events, we got a bunch of idiots around trying to vandalize and destroy everything to uh, prove a quote unquote point about um, police brutality, which honestly is not going to happen at all. However, we got a freaking virus that has taken away many. Most friends fine. Uh, let's see here, along with a... This year has been a com complete mess. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna surpass this. We could be... It could be worse, you know? <laughs> but we are lucky. We're very lucky. Uh, there's a few forms of it. So, like, the basic thing... Basically, multiple sclerosis is, like, lesions that land on the brain... That are on the brain. That cause different parts of the body to become paralyzed. And so he has no use of his right arm or leg. And, uh... His brother also had it. But he never had the mental... As well. I, I didn't get to see my uncle much before he passed away. I don't know. I just... We never went around him because his wife is... An a-hole. I personally think uh, he was murdered, but I don't think it'll ever be brought up, so. Um, wait, have either of y'all played The Last of Us Part 2? Dang it, okay. Y you know that one scene from Up when it shows, um, the old man's wife die? Definitely that. Yeah, definitely that. I'm a bird. Uh, oh, man. Chicken break. First, money. Second, ex bitches. Uh, third, uh, don't know, maybe... My grandpa dies. Uh, for They say, drink water. Don't waste your life. Don't overdo it, but don't waste it either. It happened last. He passed away on Ju July 4th last year. So he goes out and shoots guns. And he he had neither. He had use of. He couldn't use either of his legs. And so he was in a wheelchair. And uh, he would go out to shoot his guns at night around 10 p.m. And then he was found in the morning at like 10 or 11 a.m. And he had fallen over and his legs had been crushed beneath his chair and blood had been cut off from them. And a couple days later, he passed away from complications due to all that. I think his, I personally think his wife did it, but uh, I, have, I have no conclusive evidence, so I can't say anything. She got rid of everything uh, that he owned within a couple of days he just she just sold everything yeah because now she owns my family's farm and everything anxiety in general have you ever had a panic attack that you know of like you're just like every little thing kind of like like sets you off a little bit and like it's not irritating it's just you're scared it's probably the unsettling feelings of you don't know what's gonna come next for you and you don't have control of what it's gonna happen to you. I'd probably just like a stupid breakup. Fairy off, gathers. Mom, Slepinsons. The Simpson movies. Oh yeah, the Simpson movie. That's a, that's a very good movie. Do you have Disney Plus? That one ep episode, right, in Full Metal Alchemist, when that child gets turned into that kaiju. Damn, damn. That that that, that shit is messed up. You know. For me, it's it's a little bit like constant fear. Like my my average level of like fear is just 
always high, um, and sometimes it spikes up, and a little bit of the time it spikes lower, but mostly it's just at like a 8 out of 10. When my dog died last week, is uh, seeing someone play uh, guitar or piano in VR chat. The first thing that came to my mind is when I failed the test. Maybe the current situation in Hong Kong. Oh, the people's freedom is being taken away, basically. Uh, China is really going in hard. No, no, I'm not, I'm not from Hong Kong, but I just... Uh, I don't like when people's freedom is being taken away. As a Polish person myself, uh, we have a history of that, basically. Of our freedom being taken away, so... Uh, I can not sympathize with them, you could say. It gets really, really, really hard. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, it's gonna feel impossible. But waiting it out and waiting for the inclinations and urges to pass and finding purpose through whether it's, you know, hobbies or friends or, you know, whatever you can hold on to. Hold on to that until the rough patches pass and it's worth it. I don't know. That's really all I can say because I know that it gets really hard and it's, you know, it's tough to just be like, oh, I just have to wait it out, but it's always worth it, you know. Treat others better than how they've treated you, no matter what they've done. Even if you feel like they ruined your life, never stoop to their level, because then you just end up hurting other people and yourself even more. You help make the world a better place if you just always do better than what other people have done to you. Everybody, make sure to stay strong if anything is going on in your life, and peace out.